Yo, what is good people, it's Wozowicz here. Hope you are having a great day. In this video, I want to show you one of the coolest pieces of software I have ever used. And I'm talking about Splitter, and here is its logo. Uh, if you are using Deezer, uh, this may look similar to Deezer's logo, because actually those are probably the same guys that did um, the Deezer as a software as a whole. And the most important thing, what this program does, it can take out single stems from any song that is already rendered. So if you like a particular song which has a really good piano pattern, for example, and you want to take it out of the context and use it as a sample, uh, this thing can help you out. By the way, before you start watching, follow me on Instagram, vodzu underscore beats, for more dope content. Second announcement, I've dropped my very first funk single on Spotify. Uh, the link to my Spotify is in the description down below, so make sure you follow me on Spotify. And the third, the most important announcement, I'm going to start live streaming on YouTube. Um, and I've already done one stream, which was supposed to be a test stream, but it turned out like it was one hour and 20 minutes because so many people came in and it was just great. So let's get to the video. Okay, so the first thing you have to do, go to the description and click um, the download link. Uh, it will redirect you to this site where you can just download Splitter GUI. And there's also another version which is in code only, but this version uh, is a compiled version you can just launch on your computer. Please note that you can't run this software under Intel Pentium and Celeron. And if you are running any other CPU, uh, it needs to support AVX, so you can just Google the name, uh, the model of your processor and type in if it supports AVX. Or here you can also download uh, AVX Checker if you don't want to Google it. Okay, let's download it. It's pretty huge to be honest as for that small piece of software. It looks small, but the code itself is, is pretty huge. It's over 900 megabytes. In the meantime, we can look for a song we'll use for splitting. Okay, so here I found a pretty cool song uh, that could be used for like uh, an old school kind of beat with those pianos and later it has like some uh, more instrument. Let's see if the algorithm will work with that one. The installation may take a while, so I don't know, maybe I should tell some jokes. Oh, maybe not. By the way, the next beat making live stream is on Thursday, 6 p.m. Polish time, so you can check the exact hour depending on where you live. Okay, so here's the GUI, and we have a few splitting modes. The most basic one is vocal plus accompaniment. The second one is vocal, bass, drums, and other instruments present in the mix. And the, fi and the third one is vocal, bass, drums, piano, and other instruments. So I'm splitting in this most advanced mode, so I'll get the vocal, but there was no vocal uh, in this track, bass, drums, piano, and other. While Splitter is processing the song, uh, please take note that you can't take any recording from the internet and use it in your beat. Lots of recordings are registered within the content ID, uh, YouTube system, and eventually your beat may be claimed after uploading to YouTube. Fortunately, uh, this software is not messy. It created a new folder for all of those stems. Now I'm just going to drag and drop them directly into Reaper. Okay, so let's have a listen of what came out of it. Let's start from the bass. <laughs> Okay, there is some bass. It's really muddy, really messy, but there is something. Next, the drums. Oh, and here it made a much better job. Of course, there are lots of artifacts and those drums are pretty messy, especially in the higher end. But you can use the kind of drum fills and stuff for your own purpose. You can process them, EQ them, Add some distortion, beat crusher, anything. Other. Okay, so here goes the piano. All the brass instruments. And the harmonica. We could make a beat just from this part. The piano... Okay, so the piano is messed up. There are just a few parts, but they sound really foggy. And the vocals, but there is nothing in the vocal lane since there were no vocals. Okay, so this is a pretty powerful tool, you gotta admit. And if you have a song which has 
lots of things going on. For example, drums playing while there is a really, really cool part you could sample. You can just take the drums out and that's great. Okay, that's everything for today. See you on the first day live stream. I hope you will be there. My name is Dominic. You've been watching Vodzo Beats and keep the good vibes alive.